Our first feedback comes from Jerry, and Jerry has got a demonstrable uh, situation to show how pipes can be prevented from freezing, even with relatively thin insulation layers, and it's all about air sealing, and uh, this is a good demonstration of that. Jerry writes, hey y'all, I just wanted to offer a story, story from the field. We had a situation where we remodeled the bathroom and knew we needed to put a shower supply in an exterior wall in the Ann Arbor, Michigan area. The house dates somewhere around 1900 with board sheathing and a couple layers of siding on the exterior. From the inside, we taped all the gaps in the board sheathing and spray foam behind the new plumbing. We stuffed a data logger between the hot and cold supply lines and finished insulating with rock wool. We set the loggers to record every hour. We were obviously worried that the pipes would get too cold and freeze. So I wanted to send you what we found. In early January, we reached temperatures of minus six degrees outside and the logger recorded 54 degrees in the wall cavity. <clears throat> this is not a crazy thick wall assembly. We managed to get something like two inches of EPS foam behind the pipes and we sealed the gaps with canned spray foam. I'm sending along a quick graph I made showing the lowest temperature recorded each week and a pic <clears throat> of the assembly. The poor data logger will keep recording for about a year and a half and then run out of memory, so we might get one more winner's data set. We should be good until the next ice age. Please excuse the wacky framing that was done by a colleague a few years prior. As always, love the show, Jerry. Jerry, your uh, description of your data logger reminded me of the uh, Voyager space probes, which are out there uh, and been in recent uh, dis- conversations because they one of them went dark for a while, but... I hope your data logger is uh, with you for a long time. What do you guys think about this? I've done very similar things before on remodels. I, I think you hit it right on the head. The air sealing is key to making it work. Uh, yeah. What do you think, Brian? Well, I mean, I think that uh, they did what they're that they did what they could do and what they're supposed to do, and, and I, I'm, I love that they stuck a data logger in there and that it's working. I think that's great. Yeah. I mean, there's, there was another way that they would, I mean, if they found out that it was freezing in there, it wouldn't, I'm not sure that they would have gotten there in time to, <laughs> <laughs> to not have a burst pipe and damage, but still, it's still interesting information, right? It's still like, uh, what, 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 there's, there's, you know, so much that there's often things we can't gather information about, about what's going on inside, you know, a building assembly. So when we can, it's nice to, it's nice that people are doing this and sharing their their findings with us. I tell you what, a floor plan with pipes in the exterior wall gives you a lot more flexibility in where you arrange your fixtures than if you are limited to interior walls. So, I mean, just yep. knowing that you can do that in a cold place like Ann Arbor seems yeah. super valuable. <laughs> I've lived in places that with pipes that freeze during cold snaps, and I can tell you... Uh, it was because there were holes in the wall, uh, specifically, uh, you know, somewhere connecting the sheathing to kitchen uh, faucet pipes, uh, because those are often on an exterior wall, because you have to have, to have the window there in the kitchen. And I've lived a couple rental units that that was the this, this situation. We'd have to open the cabinet doors yep. uh, when a cold snap would come along and try and get some warm air in there to keep the pipes from freezing. <laughs> 